If you like to tune into Twitter to catch up on the latest celebrity scandals, imagine what you're missing by not watching Discovery or National Geographic instead. The details of animal mating can be titillating, amusing, and just plain weird all at the same time. Here are 12 unusual animal sex facts, ranging from the permanent erections of alligators to the arrow-shaped love darts wielded by snakes and slugs. Male alligators have permanent erections. Penises vary widely across the animal kingdom, but a universal theme is that this organ changes size or shape before or during the act of mating, then reverts to its usual configuration. That's not so for alligators. The males are endowed with permanently erect penises, layered with numerous coats of the stiff protein collagen that lurk inside their cloacas, which are the chambers that contain digestive and reproductive organs, then burst out suddenly like the baby alien from John Hurt's stomach in Alien. The six-inch long penis of an alligator isn't even inverted or turned outward by muscles, but by the application of pressure on its abdominal cavity, clearly an essential bit of reptilian foreplay. Female kangaroos have three vaginas. Female kangaroos possess three vaginal tubes, but only one vaginal opening, eliminating any confusion on the part of their mates. When males inseminate females, their sperm travels up either or both of the side tubes, and about 30 days later, their tiny joey travels down the central tube, from which it slowly makes its way to its mother's pouch for the remainder of its gestation. Antichinus males copulate themselves to death. The Antichinus, a tiny, mouse-like marsupial of Australia, would be almost anonymous except for one odd fact. During their brief mating season, the males of this genus copulate with females for up to 12 hours straight, stripping their bodies of vital proteins in the process and dismantling their immune systems. Shortly afterward, the exhausted males drop dead. The moms live a bit longer to nurture their young, but they usually die within the year, having had the opportunity to breed only only once. Flatworms fence with their sex organs. Flatworms are among the simplest invertebrate animals on Earth, lacking well-defined circulatory and respiratory organs and eating and pooping via the same body opening. But all bets are off during mating season. The hermaphroditic critters, which possesses male and female sex organs, sprout pairs of dagger-like appendages and fence in slow motion until a hit is scored, straight into the other's skin. The loser is impregnated with sperm and becomes the mother, while the father often goes on dueling until it becomes a mother itself, further complicating the confused gender roles. Male porcupines urinate on females before sex. Once a year, male porcupines cluster around available females, fighting, biting, and scratching one another for the right mate. The winner then climbs onto a tree branch and urinates copulously on the female, which stimulates her to go into estrus. The rest is somewhat anticlimactic. The female folds back her quills so as to not impale her partner, and more routine insemination takes only a few seconds. Barnacles have enormous penises. You might imagine that an animal that spends its entire life tethered to one spot has a relatively sedate sex life. In fact, though, barnacles are equipped with the largest penises relative to their size of any creatures on Earth, as much as eight times longer than their bodies. Essentially, frisky barnacles unfurl their organs and attempt to fertilize every other barnacle in their immediate vicinity, at the same time presumably being probed and prodded themselves. Mating snails stab each other with love darts. Some hermaphroditic species of snails and slugs wield the invertebrate equivalent of Cupid's arrows, sharp, narrow projectiles made of calcium or hard protein, as a preliminary to the act of mating. One of these love darts pokes into the receiving snail's skin, sometimes penetrating its internal organs and introduces a chemical causing it to be more receptive to the attacking snail sperm. These darts don't introduce sperm into the female's body. That happens the old-fashioned way during the act of copulation. Female chickens can eject unwanted sperm. Female chickens, or hens, tend to be smaller than roosters and often can't resist less than desirable males insistent on mating. After the act, though, enraged or disappointed females can eject up to 80% of the offending male sperm, allowing for the possibility that they might then be impregnated by roosters higher up in the pecking order. Male honeybees lose their penises while mating. Everyone talks about colony collapse disorder, which is devastating bee populations worldwide, but not many people seem to care about the particular plight of the individual drone honeybee. Before a queen bee can assume her exalted title, she begins her life as a virgin bee and must be inseminated by a male to step up to the throne. That's where the unfortunate drone comes in. In the course of mating with their heir apparent, the male's penis rips off, still inserted into the female, and he flies 
flies off to die. Given the gruesome fate of male honeybees, it's no surprise that full-grown queens deliberately breed them for use in their mating yards. Sheep have a high rate of homosexuality. Homosexuality is an inherited biological trait in some members of the animal kingdom, and nowhere is homosexuality more rife than among male sheep. By some estimates, almost 10% of rams prefer to mate with other rams rather than females. Lest you think that this is the unintended result of human husbandry, studies have shown that the behavior of these sheep is reflected in a specific area of their brains, the hypothalamus, and is a hardwired rather than learned behavior. Male anglerfish merge with females during mating. Anglerfish, which lure their prey with fleshy structures glowing from their heads, live in the deep ocean and are relatively scarce, producing a limited supply of available females. But nature finds a way. The males of some anglerfish species are orders of magnitude smaller than the opposite sex and literally attach themselves to or parasitize their mates, feeding them a constant supply of sperm. It's believed that this evolutionary trade-off allows the females to grow to normal sizes and thus prosper in the food chain. What happens to males who don't find receptive females? They die, sadly, and become fish food. Male damselflies can remove the sperm of competitors. Most animals that lose out during mating season must be content with their fate. Not so with the male damselfly, which can use its weirdly shaped insectile penis to literally scrape the sperm of its immediate predecessor out of the female's cloaca, thus increasing the odds of propagating his own DNA. One byproduct of this strategy is that it takes damselflies an unusually long time to complete the act of mating, which is why these insects can often be seen flying in ten over long distances. Definitely, the animal kingdom is still full of mysteries and surprises. Tell us in the comment section which of these surprised you the most. We upload new videos every week, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel.